I'm going to show you how to replace the belt and belt tensioner on a BMW E90. This would be for an N51 or an N52 engine. First we're going to take off this air sn snorkel right here. So you need a uh, T25. T20. T20. And this is just going to open, open it up so that we have more room. And before doing work, make sure to take note of the routing of the belt. And most BMWs have like a backward C set up. You can see right here it goes back this way. And this is the backward C section right here. And then it goes around and up around this way. I have a picture that might help also. This is the diagram right here. And this is the tensioner right in the middle. You can see it's that backward C set up. And it's good to make a quick diagram on a piece of paper. Now for this particular one, there's an aluminum bolt that holds that tensioner in place. That's a one-time use. It has to be replaced. The tightening torque is 25 newton meters and then you have to do a torque angle of 90 degrees. On the tensioner to remove the belt, you have a Torx right there and that's a T55. So we're going to go ahead and release the tension and just slide the belt right off the tensioner. See, it pulled that back, and then once that's off, you can go ahead and release the tensioner so that we can get the belt up and out of the, out of the way. So just pull that belt right out, and normally if you're not replacing the belt, you could get away with just leaving it right in place, but we're going to be replacing the belt, so we'll just zip that right all the way out. This is where, when you have that diagram, if you forget how the routing is, you can refer back. All right, using an E14, we're going to remove the central bolt for the tensioner. I have a friend helping me today that's also a master mechanic so that we can maybe get some better video and get the job done a little bit faster. And simple as that, just that one and it comes right out. A typical failure on this type of belt tensioner is that the belt will actually start to walk off. And you can see actually the belt's been riding on the edge here and this whole section hasn't been making good contact. The spring is losing tension and it's actually walking that belt off. So this is something you want to check for. You want to make sure that that belt is just a little bit back from the edge of the pulley. That's where it should be. If you see it walking off, you can actually contact the crank pulley and uh, can start fraying the belt. Here's that new tensioner. Now when you buy a tensioner, it has this pin installed. Do not remove the pin until it's installed in the vehicle. This is actually in its locked position, so this big spring that has a lot of tension on it is being held in place by this pin. We're going to install it, then remove the pin after. And this is our new aluminum bolt. Now you can see the hollow right there where this tensioner sits, and you really can't put it on wrong because of the way that this design is. We'll see if we can put it on a rock. I don't think so. Yeah, it falls into place. And then just go ahead and finger tight that central bolt. And then we're going to do a joining torque of 25 newton meters. It really does give you a lot more room if you take that air snorkel off too. Okay. And now we're going to set it to 90 degree torque angle. Now you can kind of eyeball a 90 degree, so if you had to just do it on your own, 
you could figure out how much you'd have to go to do a 90 degree but since we have a fancy torque angle torque wrench which is a great tool just a little expensive we're gonna go ahead and set the torque angle using this tool alright we're gonna go ahead and set the torque angle and you know with this one again you can actually set it for that 90 and you can see you might have to come back a little bit let's see no, oh, that's telling him he's close. 88, 89, and right there. All right, so you're going to leave that pin in place, and we're going to route the belt next. All right, routing the belt. We're going to start over by the compressor. Yep, so we got that around there. That was a little tight with the... So run around the compressor. And you're just going to basically place everything. And with that pin in place, you're not going to have the tension. So you should be able to route the belt relatively easily. Relatively. might actually work to do this. And have that pop off. Now it's kind of hard to see, but we went around the compressor and you have to make sure to get over the lip for the crank pulley. And we're going to do the tensioner last, and we basically placed everything over the pulley so that it sits nice, wrapped around, back around here, and then at the very end, you put it over the tensioner, and then you can double check to make sure that everything's sitting properly. Then you went, go ahead and release the tension, and the pin releases. Make sure that everything's lined up. I do like to take my hand and just kind of touch everything to make sure that the belt is sitting properly in all the locations. And you can feel when the ribs aren't actually sitting correctly on something. And this all looks good. And then just put the air snorkel back on. And you're good to go.